This video is brought to you by Ultium Designer. Are you tired of the traditional energy meters that only give you basic readings? Well, I got something that's going to revolutionize the way you monitor your power consumption. With my design LoRa energy meter, you will have access to real-time data, accurate measurements, and the ability to track your energy usage like never before. Imagine having the power to monitor your electricity consumption from anywhere, anytime, all through a simple and user-friendly interface. Thanks to LoRaWAN, a low-power wide area network protocol, and the flexibility of Arduino, I've combined the best of both worlds to create this game-changing device. This LoRa-based electricity meter shows off some impressive features. It wirelessly transmits data using the LoRa technology, ensuring long-range connectivity within a range of up to 5 kilometers while maintaining minimal power consumption. This means you can easily monitor and analyze your energy usage without any complicated wiring or limitations. But that's not all. This LoRa energy meter goes above and beyond to provide you with comprehensive information about your power consumption. It allows you to monitor key parameters such as voltage, current, power, and units consumed. By monitoring voltage, current, power, and units consumed, you can make informed decisions about your energy usage. But there is another incredible feature that sets this meter apart when the power is cut off or the voltage falls below 150 volt AC, the onboard buzzer is activated. This feature serves as a variable safety measure, enabling you to promptly respond to power disruptions. By hearing the buzzer, you can take immediate action, such as turning off sensitive loads or investigating the cause of the power outage. It's an added layer of protection and convenience for your electrical system. The voltage and current values are quite accurate because I have calibrated the ZMPT101B voltage sensor and the CD clamp current sensor. I have explained it in my previous video, Arduino Home Energy Monitor. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. This is the CD clamp current sensor and this is the ZMPT101B AC voltage sensor. If you want to know about their technical specifications and how to use these sensors individually, then you can watch my getting started videos. I have added links in the description. This is the transmitter side and this is the receiver side. As usual, I'm using my design Arduino LoRa development boards on both the sides, but you can also do the same exact connections on a breadboard. And let me also tell you for now, forget about these relays because in this project, no relays are used. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner as I'm going to explain every single connection. So let's go ahead and first start with the transmitter side. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the ZMPT AC voltage sensor to the Arduino 5 volt and ground. In my case, I have connected the VCC wire to the Arduino VN pin, which is connected to the regulated 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. Connect the output pin of the ZMPT voltage sensor to the Arduino analog pin A0. Connect the VCC and ground wires of the AC current sensor to the Arduino 5 volt and ground. But in my case, I have connected it to the external 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. Connect the output signal via A to the Arduino analog pin A1. This is the LoRa RA-02400 and 33 MHz transceiver module and its NSS SCK. MOSI and MISO pins are connected to Arduino pins 10, 13, 11, and 12. The reset pin of the LoRa module is connected to the Arduino pin 9, and its 3.3 volt and ground pins are connected to the Arduino 3.3 volt and ground pins. And don't forget to add these 22 microfarad and 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitors. This is a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply based on the MP1584EN. I have already explained this in my previous video. In that video, I have also explained how to get different voltages at the output. Anyway, you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download it from our website electronicclinic.com. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the receiver side. The LoRa and power supply connections remain exactly the same. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the SSD 1306 OLED display module to the Arduino 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the SCL and SDA pins to the Arduino analog pins A5 and A4 respectively. 
A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. A 5 volt buzzer is connected to the Arduino pin D8 and I'm using 2N2222 NPN transistor for controlling this buzzer. Connect the positive pin of the buzzer to the 5 volt which is VN and connect the ground pin of the buzzer to the collector of 2N2222 NPN transistor. Connect emitter to the ground and connect the base to the digital pin D8 through this 10 kilo ohm resistor. You can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. Ultim Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultim Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Easily work together with your mechanical team and forget about the days of swapping design files. Every design change stays in sync between Ultium Designer and Solidworks, PTC Crew, Autodesk Inventor. Autodesk Fusion 360 or Siemens NX. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. One of the best things about Ultium Designer is that you can share your designs with your team members using Ultium 365. They can check your design, leave comments and if there are any issues, they can fix them from anywhere in the world. Ultium Designer also uses the world's fastest component search engine, Octopart, so you won't have any difficulty in searching for components. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. This is the transmitter side programming and this is the receiver side programming. First, let's go ahead and start with the transmitter side programming. First of all, you will need to install the required libraries. For this, simply copy the name. Then go to the sketch menu, include library and then click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box and install it. As you can see, I have already installed this library. You can follow the same exact steps for the other library. As you can see, I have also installed this library. 90% of this code is from my Arduino Home Energy Monitor project. This time round, I added code for the LoRa. You can see I have added the local address and the destination address. You can add multiple addresses if you want to monitor multiple energy meters using a LoRa way. In the upcoming version, I will also add a gateway. Anyway, what I'm doing is I added all the parameters in a message and then I send it to the remote side LoRa module. You can clearly see I have separated these values using comma as the delimiter. This will help me in splitting the entire message on the receiver side and then I can store these values in their corresponding variables for the further processing and everything else remain exactly the same. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the receiver side programming. You will also need to install these libraries for the SSD 1306 OLED display module exactly the same way as I explained. Buzzer is connected to the digital pin 8. I also defined these four variables of the type float for storing the voltage, current, power and units. The local address is set to 0xFF and the destination address is set to 0xBB. If it doesn't make any sense to you, then you need to watch my video on multiple LoRa transmitters with single LoRa receiver. Anyway, let's go to the loop function. We simply read the packet and then split the entire string and store the retrieve values in the variables and then we convert these into float types and store them in variables AC voltage, AC current, AC power and units. I've also added a condition if in case the AC voltage falls below 150 volts AC, the buzzer will turn on. It will also turn on if there is a power failure. All these instructions are used to print these values on the OLED display module. 
The get value function is a user defined function and its job is to split a string message using any character as the delimiter. So that's all about the programming and now let's go ahead and start the practical demonstration. I have powered up the transmitter and receiver side and you can clearly see there is no physical connection between the transmitter and receiver side. I have powered up the receiver side using my created 4S lithium ion battery and now it's completely portable. I can move around with this circuit and monitor the energy meter within 5 kilometers. I have tested the range of these LoRa modules using different types of antennas. I have added a link in the description. Anyway, you can clearly see the voltage, current, power and units on the display. These are the measured values and let me show you the actual voltage and current values using a multimeter and ampere meter. You can see the measured and actual values are pretty close. Anyway, the buzzer is off because the voltage is above 150 volt AC. I'm going to cut off the power and let's see if the buzzer is going to turn on. This is pretty awesome. Now, my design LoRa energy meter is going to alert me if the voltage falls below 150 volt AC or if there is any power failure. So that's all about the LoRa energy meter. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.